A Jacksonville Beach CrossFit trainer is behind bars this evening after police say he admitted to having sex with one of his underage athletes. Paul Villarreal was arrested this morning for lewd battery on a person under the age of 16 and over the age of 12. Tonight, the mother of the alleged victim is speaking exclusively with First Coast News about the warning she has for other parents. Julia Janae joins us live tonight from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Julia. That's right, Heather. Tonight, this family is stunned to find out what was going on with their daughter for years. Now, they tell me that their daughter started training with Paul Villarreal right before she turned 12 years old. And they say that they couldn't have imagined this happening with a coach that they so deeply trusted. It seemed very genuine and there was no reason not not to trust him. This mother is describing her daughter's coach, Paul Villarreal. She asked not to be identified because she wants to protect her daughter, who she said was once a champion in the gym. This was her passion. She she did love it. When she got her own car, she did her own thing. We never questioned her. They never questioned her, especially when she was with her coach. You know, when we when we first met him, you know, he was an ex-Marine. He served in the military. He had a wife and two young kids. He seemed to have my kids' interest at, at, you know, at, at heart. But according to the arrest report, Villarreal told police the relationship began with kissing and inappropriate touching, then crossed the line to sex in 2015. The victim's mother says her daughter was 15. She's got to be so bottled up inside knowing she lied to her parents for so many years and felt the guilt, never said anything. We never even expected anything. Now looking back, they wish they had been more skeptical of her close relationship with her trainer. Just be aware of the text messaging and, and, and who they are texting. Villarreal has owned gym businesses in the Jacksonville Beach area for the past several years. The victim's family say they hope to see him prosecuted, though their daughter, who just turned 18, doesn't feel the same. This was the biggest challenge in all of it. Explaining to her that this was not her fault, that she was a victim, but right now, she she loves the guy. Is this all she's known? What he did to our daughter can't be taken back. Now, Villarreal is being held here at the Duval County Jail on no bond. He's expected to have a hearing tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Now, the people that we talked to who have either worked with Paul or had interaction with him in the past say that they are completely stunned and this is completely out of character for him the accusations that he is facing. But again, he has no other criminal arrests or similar charges against him here in Duval County. Reporting live from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, Julia Janae, First Coast News.